Hey everyone, Overflush here, and welcome back to another video. Last time, I got back into working on the maxing grind, and today, of course, is no exception. In this video, I do want to work on a, another 99, as it has been a little bit of time since we've had one. But, from the last video, we got to talk about our time to max. So in the previous video, I started the video at about 1412 hours until max cape, or max total. And in this video, we have about 1,348 hours to go. So plenty of hours to do of skilling, but that's okay. We have plenty of time. Let's get all this done. As I just said, I do want to work on a 99, and that 99 is going to be fire making for my 11th 99. Uh, most people usually do that, of course, early on in their account, but I only went to 90 because I didn't think I was going to max until now. But that's okay. We can knock it out today. But before I actually get to fire making, I also did some various skilling similar to the last video, so let's go ahead and also look at that. Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Whoa, I didn't think I was about to get that 86 mining. Nice, four more levels to that base 90. Alright, let's try this again. I decided to come back to Relica for 86 agility. Uh, already just wasn't as nice as I thought it would be with 85. But there is 86. Now I can plus five boost to get to 91 agility. And I guess now I can try Artie again, and actually use my summer pies. Yeah, hopefully it's a lot better this time, and I just realized I don't know why I started another lap. Oh, that's why I did. Another free mark, easy. Of course I mute myself. Anyways, I love the smell of the new mining level in the morning. And by that, it might just be the fumes. I don't know, I don't know what these dwarves are doing. 87 mining, a couple more levels to that base 90. I guess that's what I'm working on now. Shouldn't take that much longer, and also I'll be banking a sweet amount of smithing supplies. Smithing? Yeah, smithing supplies. Looks like I'll bank about 85 smithing, which is perfect. If you recall, 85 will be the level I would need to make a spirit shield, so... You know, we get that Elijah in one day? Probably not, whatever. Potentially about to get a really, really nice room crafting level. There... 91 XP. Oh yeah, you got 92 runecrafting. Forgot <laughs> to get it from there. Kind of weird place to get it, but of course we all 92. I've probably made that joke before, but it's seven levels to 99. I'm not, I'm not gonna say the 50% part. Yeah, I got many, many levels to go. I decided to AFK a little bit of runecrafting tonight. Why not? As is tradition. I, I actually really enjoy runecrafting blood, so why not do it? There it is. 90 mining. Another base 90. And I definitely just didn't forget I was about to get that. Yeah, another 90. We got only a couple to go, honestly. It, it looks like I have a lot, but really, fletching, fire making, hunter would be so fast. Oh man, I'm just, I'm excited to get some of these done. Uh, of course I get the level on, on right here. But yeah, I did decide to stay at mining. I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'm just gonna stay in my little mine for a little while. Maybe get a few more levels. It's another day, and another day means another runecrafting level. Six more until the huge, huge 99. Man, these levels keep running up on me. 92 mining. A nice little start back to the mining ground. I did a little bit of runecrafting, but I want to go back to mining. I enjoy this a lot more than runecrafting, even though, I don't know, this one's just a lot nicer. They're both pretty easy, though. On the way till 95 mining, though, I think that's where about I'm going to stop. Pretty important level right here. Come on, finish it up. You know you want to. There it is. Another level 88, which is the Hydra shortcut. Had work. I wanted to work on that for a while. I did have that as my goal, but I wasn't really thinking I was going to finish it anytime soon. And it took me a little bit of IRL time, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Now we're only two more levels from 90. No longer have to use summer pies. I believe I have enough to finish up 90. But yeah, let's do a little bit more running on these rooftops and finishing up 90. Looks like I'm one overway. Ooh, there it is. On the last one of the inventory, 93 mining. It's actually pretty important because now I basically have 90 smithing banked. Pretty nice. The only sad thing is I need to buy about another 40,000 coal. It really isn't that big of a deal. It's, I think it's like 10 or 11,000 coal an hour you can buy. Well, let's, let's check the bank, why not? Excuse this bank, probably looking ugly, but here's the TLDR. I don't know when I actually started this mining grind, but I have 31,000 coal, which I've purchased a good bit of this, actually. I've done a test of a little bit of blast furnace just because, you know, you gotta get started at some point. But over 10,000 adamant ore, 20,000 mithril, 15,000 gold, which, reminder, I don't have goldsmith gauntlets. Technically until 99 smithing, 99 smithing has the perk of goldsmith gauntlets, but 
we're not going to be doing post 99 smithing most likely i don't know why i would but yeah also 1400 rune ore i'm going to be using up making rune swords making some nice gp out of all of this so actually this is going to be really important on my grind towards eventually 99 fletching all this can be some nice xp nice gp all around it's all, all around is nice but I still need to AFK a little bit. We're really close to IRL time for me starting my base 90 grind. But I need a few more days of mining, so why not start working towards banking 99 smithing? So with that, we'll work on this and then we're gonna start the base 90 grind. And now to finally get on to the main thing I wanted to work on this video, and that is 99 fire making. So as I've said, it's been a little bit of time since I've actually had a 99. For me, it's actually been several months since I got 99 farming. But now, of course, this is 99 number 11 we're going to be working on. And the big thing with fire making is I'm also going to be working on these arrow shafts. And I have some, I'm going to buy some broadless or broad arrows as well. So I'm going to make some broad arrows and some headless arrows during my 99 fire making grind. And hopefully get some several levels out of that. But yeah, this is just my very standard, I guess, setup for a max player. So I have the con cape, I guess, if I want to tell it out oh, to get in my pool. Which I don't know if I'll do that much. But yeah, I know I, know I don't want to use my HP cape. You know, it gives me more regen, and then of course Wintertaw, you know, the fire Pyromancer gear, and then Bruise. That's just very typical standard setup for my account. So without further ado, I'm going to start this 99 fire making grind. should only take a couple of days. It's going to be extremely fast. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. Looks like that's my first nice little trip, nice little session of Winter Thought. Got nine crates this, this time. I think I'd used a uh, five Bruise or something like that. Really not bad. Brews are not that big of a deal to use and averaging over 200,000 fire making XP an hour. Also, again, my goal is to do is fletching. I don't really care as much about the fire making XP. It's just more of a bonus, if anything. So let's, uh, I'm, I'm going to save these for a while. I'm probably going to max out my bank uh, capacity, open them, and then rinse and repeat. Just realized it looks like I finished my first hour and it looks like I made maybe 17,000 headless arrows. And again, the, the reason I'm doing this grind, the reason I'm doing it the way I am is for fletching gains of course i could get more fire making speed an hour if i didn't care about making these but i'm prioritizing them because well i want to multitask fletching i don't want to sit at a bank and just do this all night so this is working out i guess it's it's not too bad and we're gonna get the skill done both of them here we go another level coming in 92 fire making that was a little quick half we're not saying that screw that part uh we're like 30 hours away from 99 fire making very easy. It's really, really weird going to a skill like this after doing like a 300 hour wood cutting grind a couple months back and then like a couple hundred hours for not even like 92 fire rune crafting, whatever. So, yeah, might even get through 93 tonight. Why not? Another big thing I finished all of the arrowheads for my the current broad arrows that I bought. So, also gonna grab a nice selection level and this is gonna go by really fast. And if you're curious why I bought this many broad arrows, uh, it's just the number that I decided that I decided to buy. So for 90 fletching, I do have some darts I'm going to make, and I'm going to use those for 90. But then after I run out of these, this gets me to about 87 fletching. I'm just going to start making more headless towards 99. I'm not really in, in a rush to really finish 99 fletching anytime soon, or even 90. Okay, why did I do like that? Let me get back to some fire making. 82 fletching. And here we go, a nice little achievement. 93 fire making, but also more importantly, 1950 total, 50 levels from 2000 total. And just a little quick reminder, with one magic, one ranged, my max level is 2081. That means I'm really close to about 100 levels off. So right now I'd be like 2140, something like that, if I was a main account, if I could go to 2277. So yeah, we're getting up there. Not as much of a newbie account anymore. Starting off another morning of Winter Todd with a fletching level. 1951 total. 49 levels until the beautiful 2000 total. Should have that within the next month or so, real time. I don't know how many videos that'd be, but real time for me. 84. Fletching. And here's gonna be the next fire making level. There it is, 94. Fire making. Five more levels until the not so beautiful cape. 85 fleshing 95 fire making 96 fire making and another level 87 fleshing this is really weird getting so many levels within one day 
And in the first proper night with over 3 million fire making XP, nice long day of fire making and tomorrow might be 99. It's really crazy doing something like this, I've already said. Wow, but I'm gonna open up some of these crates. I don't think I'll show you guys anything in the crates unless I get something fun like the DX or the pet. But I am opening them and I will show you the loot when I'm done with 99. Alright, let's grab this level. 97 fire making. Might get 99 today. Only like another 10 hours of fire making to go. 88 fletching? Oh, I literally just missed the level. 98 fire making. Uh, yeah, I got, I got the last kill. On kill count 550. So, might get 99 tonight. Or if not, I might wake up tomorrow and like get it like the first thing in the morning. Hey, it's gonna be pretty nice to have a nice 99 really soon. This is my final game of Winter Todd. Here we go. I'm actually gonna finish up at 600 kill count, and I didn't get 99. Really good. That's that's good. So perfect 600, which actually I wasn't planning. But of course, if you've seen my channel, you probably know why I am saving this 99, and that is to save my untrimmed cape. So let's go grab that real quick, and then knock out this 99. Sit. So I was making my way to the 99 fire making dude to get the cape. But you know what? Let's get the cape down here. This is actually where you get Boots of Lightness. You know, I haven't been down here in a pretty long time, I bet. So let's just grab the 99. One level, one log away. And I know my capes are stored, so let's do it. There it is. 99 fire making, of course. Number 11. 99. So let's go get it. Hello, Mr. Vulcan. Give me a 99 fire cape. Fire making cape. It's... Not like everyone has this on their account. Yeah, this is my 11th 99. Kind of strange to get it this late, but that's okay. It gave me a reason to train some fletching. So from that grind, I did get eight fletching levels and I still have some crates to open up real quick. So maybe I'll get lucky and get the pet. I, I really don't anticipate getting the pet, but you know, maybe we do. So I'm gonna go open those up and then see what loot I got. And before I move on to anything else fun, here's some of the loot that I got from Winter Todd. So this tab is five mil, but I'm gonna put up another picture some type of picture, I don't know exactly how I'm going to show everything else, but I got a lot of stuff. I'm going to calculate real quick these. I might have already done it in the picture, but for myself, I'm going to calculate the herb XP I got from Winter Todd, which seems to be a good bit. And yeah, here's some of the information. So I started at about 5.6 million XP, and I actually did about 7.3 million fire magic XP, which turned out to be 270, or I started at 270 Winter Todd, and now I'm at 600 KC, exactly. So that was 330 kills. And again, here are my current stats, basically 99, 99 all are really high 90s. So take that into consideration if someone else is just, you know, interested in my loot. Also got three spirit seeds, which I'm turning in right now. I'm not going to add these to my, my total count, like how much herb XP I got or how much value. Just because, I, I don't know, this, this, this is too small of a sample, I think, to really consider this. But hey, I guess if you're interested, there's a couple spirit seeds. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count this real quick for myself, and then I'm going to move on to... Whatever next to the next grind. Oh, and I got one really nice thing is I'm now above 250 million total XP. I got that sometime towards like the last part of the 99. And looking at these herb seeds plus the herbs, I've got about 200,000 herb herbal XP from that. So hey, that's gonna help me a little bit get a little bit closer to 99 one day. Yeah, I'm now I'm gonna start cleaning all these supplies. I probably showed you guys the loot, the actual loot from the picture. So now I'm gonna start cleaning these. And yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next for my grind towards uh, base 90 or just something like that. One more thing I forgot to mention is uh, some of the XP I got. So I guess I'll show that. So in woodcutting, I got 330,000 XP. In construction, I only got about 108,000. And the reason is I just, you know, I didn't actually worry about fixing it as much. Or, you know, I didn't play solo. If I did solo games, that'd be a lot more XP. But let's see, fletching was the big winner. So fletching. So in fletching, we got 2.5 million herbal, or not herbal, 2.5 million XP, and of course that was making a lot of broads. Now you notice that I didn't finish 90 fletching, and there's really no reason. I just didn't feel like making them. I instead just started working on the headless arrows. So now I have, let's see, about another 95,000 headless arrows. This plus some other things watch to get me to base 90s. But long term, when I'm gonna start working on my 90 smithing goal. Making all of this mithril ore into darts, I've, th I've thought about this, will actually get me like 91 fletching just from the, the myth ore. So that's something I'll probably do for base 90s and then for 99 itself I'll buy more prods at that point. I just didn't feel like wasting my money right now. I I have money but eh, I just didn't like, I didn't feel like spending it. Plus I needed to make the headless arrows anyways. But yeah, with that out of the way, I'm excited to not be doing a little bit of fire making, doing something else for a few days. 
And with 99 fire making out of the way, I think that's a great place to end the video. So thank you for watching as always. Got a lot done today, but this is the only the, like the beginning of this arc. There's going to be a lot more skilling progress coming up in the next few videos. So hope you're excited for that. And then, of course, once we're done with this, we can go back to all the, the fun PVMing stuff. So with that, take care, everyone.